Today's episode is brought to you by my patrons at patreon.com slash Phineas Flynn's Law. All right, it's time for all the references to Phineas and Ferb in season two of Milo Murphy's Law. Now, you're probably wondering how I'm gonna do this because Phineas and Ferb characters actually appear throughout Milo Murphy's Law season two a lot. So don't worry, we got a couple ground rules. There are rules, man. Well, number one, every time a Phineas and Ferb character appears and only their first appearance, do they get counted as a reference. And two, the most common musical theme from Phineas and Ferb used, which is Doof's theme, will only be counted once because it appears a lot throughout the season. That darn do. Other than that, everything should be normal. Let's get started. Gotta figure out a way to escape. Yeah, good luck with that, lady. Well, what are you guys doing? Behold, the time travelinator! I'm gonna be someone important in the future. Me, who'd have thought, right? Right? You see, I have a problem. I am very fair-skinned. I don't know if you've noticed. I always have to use SPF 120 sunscreen. Harry the Platypus. Attention, top priority message from Alka. Attention, doofenshmirtz. Here's the problem. No, wait, wait, no, no, no. Okay, give it a chance. We want your honest opinion. We know it's a little weird. Well, down here next to Pizzazium infinionite. Oh, look! Pizzazium infinionite! What's that? You've heard of hydrogen. You may know boron. But of all the elements on the periodic table, none is more fascinating and less abundant than Pizzazium infinionite. Put a stop to it. Gary! Why? Hi, guys. Ah! They're on the move. I'll bust him now. I'll bust him now. Looks like it's time to whack some weeds. Well, somebody's chatty. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to say that? No, by all means. It's just that it's been a long time. Yes. Yes, it has. We begin our assault in three, two, oh. uh, Anybody got a mallet? Who are you guys? That's Candace Buford and Belgie. I'm Phineas and this is Ferb. Well, I'm Melissa and this is Zach. And why do you have a giant tennis racket machine? There you go. And we're here, 1965. Wait a moment, what? Here we are, 20 years in the future. Isabella, wait, this is one of our satellite workshops. Not the one that's an actual satellite. The beam that hit you originated from the tri-state area, bounced off a space station satellite dish, and hit you in New York City during your fight. Is that one of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s? No, it's theirs. Man, that kid's got a weird shaped head. If we're gonna defeat those nut jobbers, it's gonna start here. Wow, this is pretty neat. So you really don't know what day it is. Well, I told you, it's Thursday. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad to see you. Hey, Phineas! What you doing? Without your super suit. Whoa! That's my pet platypus. He doesn't do much. Thanks, the OG. I'm pet's great. Well, he's a platypus. They don't do much. There's the mulcher! The inexplicable giant floating baby head. Did you guys use a blowtorch and some peanut butter? How can we not have met before today? We're gonna need a blowtorch and some more peanut butter. Oh, look, it's Vanessa's dad. You remember him. Vanessa! Dad! It's you! Yes, water should change everyone back. Um, isn't that a bit of a leap? No, I'm a scientist. I'm gonna go with him on that. <gasps> oh, that's it! I've got it! All I have to do is remember to... I remember! It's you! Cool! Let's make like a banana and invert our molecules through the space-time continuum. Persevere and seize the day. Every minute of my entire day is planned out right here. Remember how you told me to seize the day? Consider it seized! 
That's not exactly what I meant. Hey, uh, where do you guys keep the extra toilet paper? I'm asking for a friend. So those references were all from the crossover alone. If any of those confused you, or if you want more information on some of them, I did a video talking about the top 10 things that you missed in the crossover, which expands on a lot of the references that I just mentioned. So please be sure to check that out if you haven't, and let's get back to the references. Welcome contestant to the Surface Dweller Game Show. Just throw out as many answers as you can as fast as you can. Inexplicable giant floating baby head. I must say, I'm quite chuffed to be out of the nut guarding bit. I can barely hear you. What's all that noise? Your picture. I want to take your picture. Maybe the giant cannibal thing was a mislead. I think the dining set was his. <laughs> Guten Morgen, Agent G. You know what they say, the eyes are the window to the soul. Carl, what have I told you? We're spies, not poets. This episode gets a special reference point because the entire concept is very similar to another Phineas and Ferb episode, Misperceived Monotreme. Behold! The shock absorber absorbing me! Get over to the... Ah! Oh, uh, hello! I missed the fluffy pants too! I'm just like, why, 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 no, 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 it's not me, it's me, no! I call you Mr. Fluffy Pants because you're fluffy and you look like you're wearing pants. <laughs> oh, what kind of park has a cliff? Hey! Wow, that was at least three seconds deep. Now what are we gonna do for dice? Wait a minute, those bulky tissue boxes give me an idea. Why, if I built a roller coaster, I would... That's it! I know what we're gonna do today! Yeah, you don't know everything about me. What do you say when a platypus sneezes? I'll go check my monetary manners book. You have a book on monetary manners? You don't know everything about me. <laughs> Does anyone know how to get back to our dimension? We've got to get back to our dimension, and I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Listen to the spurs. Come on down. <laughs> it's the Phineas and Ferb musical cliptastic countdown. And now our hosts, from opposite ends of the moral, ethical, and philosophical spectrum, Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz and Major Francis Monogram. From the dark side of Badgertown Middle School, rain and storm. That's right. Me and my boys are headed to a rally up in Badgertown. What? Horse in a bookcase. It's a horse in a bookcase. It's a horse in a bookcase. Little horse in a bookcase. It's a horse. <laughs> Contestants, bake a cake using fresh. Heck, we're outdoors. It's a nice day. I got my tunes. I'm Lindana and I want to have Well, fun. at least it isn't the lumber, Zax. And I'm not Aline, I'm not Sharon And I don't wanna study, work, or stay at she home I'm Linda and I wanna have fun Tobina, you got it going on It's fun This week, where they go asks where they go. Oh, I can help with that. Drusselstein herding whistle. <coughs> it reminds me of a story. And when I, what, really? You're playing me off? Okay, okay, looks like I'm all out of time. Thank you, Danville, I love you. Rupert Murphy's. Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Me? <laughs> it's me, it's me, Perry the Platypus. Let's give him a big round of applause. To the ice cream parlor, dip and scoop. 
number 23, the egg beater. Spin cycle. We've reached the final hole. You'd better put on your dancing shoes. Who knew lawn gnomes were of alien origin? Well, not all of them. This one appears to be from Drusalstein. What are you doing here? I'm one of the judges. I had a very popular skating video on the internet a ways back. I am a super star! <laughs> Martin and Bridget, flash from the past. But hey, as long as you're here, why don't you join me for my evil exercise show? I've got a spare headband! Dance, baby, dance, baby, hands in the air, go down to the store and buy a wicker chair. So, can you tell us why the gnomes are so valuable? Oh, they're not valuable. They're disgusting. The aliens convert their waste into gnomes and use Earth as a dumping ground. So that's why there's so many gnomes in Danville. Morning, Agent P. Horse in a bookcase. Horse in a bookcase. Horse in a bookcase. Gary the Platypus, is that you? Welcome to the 28th Annual Substitute Teachers Conference. Today, we're going to be... I hope you brought enough gum for everyone. I did. There's the Tri-State Area! Welcome to the 27th Annual Substitute Teacher Day. We begin by... All right, who's the wise guy? I hope you brought enough gum for everyone. What is my science teacher doing here? I never miss a Phineas and Ferb party. I love Slushy Dog. We're on a mission to retrieve a piece of alien rubbish, not fill your face hole. So, Candace, you made a teddy bear at a baklava. It's 3.20 and we're supposed to meet an employee who reported it, a Mr. Johnson. Welcome to Slushy Dog. May I take your order, please? How about a banana split? <laughs> Finally got your just desserts. What they got from Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Heinz Doofenshmirtz? All right, let's take a look now on Google. Search up Heinz Doofenshmirtz. See what comes up. Search and oh, look at that. It's the exact same picture. The classic profile picture. Where are the boxes of robot parts for the science fair? I had some nice young man from school pick them up yesterday. Lugging boxes is bad for my posture. Was there a red light bulb in there? Wait, the turn inanimate object's evil in Aether Bulb was in that box? I can't imagine I would have been irresponsible enough to... Oh yeah, probably. I call it my turn everything evil in Aether. Here they come! All of my minions! <laughs> I could, I... So you're saying the word cowboy has absolutely nothing to do with cows or boys? Absolutely nothing. Got a bathroom to clean. Everyone else? There's pie! Oh, there you are, Perry. Uh, a platypus's life is a life of leisure. Yes. Yes, it is. Did I tell you guys how I was raised by ocelots? Oh, here's the bus. Thank goodness. Well, basically, my parents disowned me I was being raised by ocelots. The point is, I had to get a job at the carnival, but this is when that giant ball of tinfoil ripped the roof off my building. You did it! You saved us, Mary the Platypus! Did you Mary the Platypus? Huh, this is where I got tied to that birthday rock. I wonder where he goes. Hey, 
behold, the Shrinkinator! Shrinkinator? Why haven't I unplugged this thing? I keep leaving myself notes that I keep forgetting. Shrinkinator. Unplugged Shrinkinator. Ah, I'll do it tomorrow. See, it, it, it worked. It was, it's working. It's, it's functioning properly, at least. It's working! It's working! It's functioning properly! Time for the go home -inator. <laughs> Is everyone beholding? <laughs> the only inator we haven't ruled out that we actually have is the go home -inator. Meaning Perry the Platypus is home! <laughs> yes! Another victory over Murphy's Law! Victory dance! Oh, yeah, that's right. I got it. I got it. Look at me, mama. I'm like a cereal commercial from the 80s. Ow! Now somebody, anybody, everybody scream! There's Rose in my band! <laughs> Doofenshmirtz Good Incorporated, see? Doofenshmirtz Good Incorporated! I have no idea where that comes from. And afar in Castle Bar, many months ago. No, oh, no, we're cutting an updraft. No, we're cutting a downdraft. Updraft, downdraft, updraft, downdraft. This is what I call fly fishing. <laughs> Land on the tent. Yep. Never mind. Great. We're going up again. Goodbye, sweet earth. Milo's picking up a copy of the new Doctor's. He's Milo the Great and his trusty backpack of holding. <laughs> See his. He revels in the chaos that he creates. He's Captain Chaos. Oh, please. Well, I've got to admit, this flying thing is pretty fun. Hey, look, there's Isabella. Yo, Isabella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here. Thank you. Seriously, who brings opera glasses to an auction? I'm at an auction? Nothing falling. Nothing exploding. So peaceful. Oh, look at this. Look at me. I'm a horse with a toilet for a head. What's that even mean? Well, gator. <laughs> of course I am sure that I saw what I saw. None of this is helping. We have to take action, not conduct research. Wait, what kind of action? And now, behold the mind-blowing first images from beyond our dimensional reality. Okay, but wait, doesn't stuff just go wrong around you, too? Yeah, won't that throw it off? Well, actually, the stuff that goes wrong around me is different. It's caused by my, uh... Um, Stupidity? Incompetence? I was gonna say poor planning, but thank you for that. Doofenshmirtz, you finally made an innator that actually works? Hey, all of my innators work. It's just that, you know, I, I don't use them properly. I have poor planning skills. But it was me. I have the blueprints right here. Oh, right. Let's go outside and see what Dr. D's up to. Now you've got a fighting chance. Houston, we've got a situation. Better stay by the phone. Hey, Dr. D, what you up to? Mmm, this is the best ice cream I've ever had. Oh, that's right. You 
Houston, we've got a situation. It's a brand new lunar day sensation. We served on the waffle cone. We got chocolate, vanilla. But we don't have Rocky Road. It's not that we don't like it. We left the marshmallows at home. I blame Ball Jeet. Hey, what do you mean you blame Ball Jeet? Well, it was clearly your responsibility. Where are you getting your information from, disembodied reggae space voice? Hey, I have a name, you know. Oh, yeah? Well, it, it's disembodied reggae space voice, but that's just a coincidence. You didn't know oh, that. Oh, look who's sensitive. Besides, Buford could have brought the marshmallows. Hey, leave me out of this. Guys, guys, we have a little bit of time here. Balji, could you please stop arguing with the soundtrack? He started it. I'm, I'm hoping that this body will work with Norm's head. Who are these people? Oh, sorry, Norm. This is a whole new series of events that have transpired. Oh, this one's a chicken replacinator. You shoot something, it switches places with the nearest chicken. <laughs> Thanks to my brand new chicken replacinator! Back, back, back! This beautiful device replaces anything it hits with a chicken. How funny will that be? And to help us celebrate, here to perform their oddly specific new hit single, Goulash, Love Handle! Sorry about your disguise. I know that particular shade of pink isn't really your color. Monogram to Agent P. Already airborne, I see. I like that. Two fish were shed in the backyard. Ow. Ow. Thanks for helping me, Vanessa. Ow. You know, I really, ow. I, I learned something today. Sometimes people on construction sites really don't, ow. They don't want your advice. Almost got it, Dad. Ah, oh, thanks. Look, Perry sent you a card. Missing you. What about Perry? He was your adventure buddy, right? Yeah, was. But now you're doing battle with a panda from Seattle. I miss the moments when we didn't get along. have arrived on the eve of my farewell dinner! Behold! My adventure buddy. Uh, uh, Scott, do you happen to have room for another adventurer? Wow, this is fun! And you get to meet all sorts of interesting people. Oh, I'm a trudging to get some water down this old and Road. I reckon there'll be more someday than just three sticks in the... Wait a minute, wait a minute. The truth is, I've been feeling a little bit like a third wheel. But you're not a third wheel. I'm not? No, you're like some other vehicle altogether. It's like, we're a bicycle over here, and then somewhere over there, you're a unicycle, just going round in circles and juggling in a frantic grab for attention. Oh, I don't know. Lately, I've been feeling like a third wheel around you guys. What? No. I always saw it more like Jeremy and I were two wheels, and you were separate on a unicycle all... Oh, who needs adventure? That, that's just asking for drama. What I need is a place where people accept me for who I am. You know, a place where they don't mind if I spread out and do my experiments. And, and you know, maybe a place where there's... There's a strong parental presence and, and maybe some children to lighten the mood and, and a young boy who, who shares my pension for disaster. But, oh, but where on earth would I find such a place? Ah, I'm home. Summer doesn't belong to me. It belongs to everyone. And that includes you. You have to believe that. Well, my summer's been a series of failures. I have a hard time believing in anything. Well, you got on this plane, you know, back when it was a plane. Which means you believed in us. And we believe in you. And therefore, through the transitive property of belief, you do believe in yourself. Next, uh, it was the other uh, thing in that one movie with that guy. The other dimensionator? Yes. Well, it looks like you've totaled my other dimensionator. An other dimensionator? 
What does it do? Well, at the moment, it just stops giant shuttlecocks, apparently. So, you two hung out here a lot or what? Sometimes, but we never ate this much. A party. A cast party, you know. Well, every once in a while, I like to ride dirt bikes on extremely rough terrain. You, you do? do? You don't know everything about me. <laughs> it's a great party, Milo. Sign of how you... Hello? I went to the circus with my parents. This guy's rhyming marshmallow with buffalo. They bought me a bag of marshmallows. I was throwing it in the air. My mother said... They didn't think he was a cow at all. They were after him specifically. But it wasn't until I got outside the photo store that my life changed forever. I had a nemesis! And that was how I first met Perry the Platypus. But it wasn't until I got outside the photo store that my life changed forever. I had a feeling that there was someone hiding behind the mailbox. I had a nemesis! Some of the odd purchases include biomolecular components typically used to make organic computers, a giant pilgrim hat, and, most curious of all, a huge pair of food booties. These kids need help! Come on, let's roll! What are you doing? Oh no, Dr. Balaji, who are they? Just some old friends in post-apocalyptic battle gear. Okay, maybe friends are stretching it a bit. Driving on water! And I'm not Eileen, I'm not Sharon, uh, And I don't want to study workers to get home, uh, She's LaDonna and she was a have fun She's LaDonna Hey, I appreciate you offering to help, but the trash pickup does actually go quicker if you get out of the van Boys, I'm going to call your mother! 555-0142 five, 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 oh,
We'll meet back at the entrance in an hour. I really like the food court. There's something for everyone. I know what you mean. I love the smell of manga mechs of China. Where's that swarm? What's that drone? Something's buzzing close to home. It's B-Day, and I'm feeling fine. This was belt testing day. I was gonna move up from Greenhorn to Buckaroo. Belt had a big old silver buckle on it one night. You should be doing your farm chores. Milking the cows, mending the fences, shucking the corn, plowing the fields, and milking the cows again. You can't just stand around, you know. I'll sure as heck give it a try. Good job, Coach. Okay, here. My great grandfather once saw something mysterious in New Mexico. There he was, happily plying his trade, cow punching. <laughs> It was a dangerous profession. Darn you! Then one day, he saw it. What in the Sam Hill? Uh, sir, we've detected several cloaked UFOs descending over Danville. Looks like we picked a bad day to send all of our field agents to sensitivity training. Is, is this thing on? See, we got the chicken replacinator and the reducinator. That would totally work better. One blast with this baby and it'll turn all those negative probability ions into little itty bitty ionitas, as the Spanish would say. So, Perry the Platypus, as they say in Mexico, dos vidania. Down there, that's two vidanias. All right, so that pretty much wraps up all the references that I could find in Milo Murphy's Law Season 2. Now, did I miss any? Probably. Was the counter entirely accurate? Probably not. But you can let me know what I got wrong in the comments below. And I really hope you enjoyed this because this took forever to put together. So thank you to everybody on Twitter who helped me find some of the much more obscure references from this season. New videos are coming soon as I'm going to talk more about Phineas and Ferb, Candace Against the Universe, and hopefully Milo Murphy's Law Season 3. So I'll see you next time on Phineas Flynn's Law.